The real most important command in the terminal is a command called man. Man is short for manual. What this command does is tell you how to use all of the other commands, which will be terribly useful when you're trying to do something on the terminal and you forget how to do it. This is one of the great features about Linux. It's completely self-documenting. Everything I'm going to talk about tonight, you could read a three to five page treatise on via the man pages uh, in your own time if you want to see all the nitty gritty details of exactly what's happening. So the first thing we want to know is the man command by itself doesn't do anything. It just says, well, what do you want to access the manual on? So we will do the logical thing. We want to know how to use the manual. So we're going to do man, man. We want the manual page on the man command. So if you run this, it's going to pop up this nice manual page. You can scroll through with your arrow keys. That is basically going to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about using the man command. At the top, there's always, the format here is pretty much always the same. At the top, there's always this basic description of what the command does. Man is an interface to the online reference manuals. Followed will be the synopsis. This is essentially all the different ways you can run the command. You always start by typing in man, because it's the man command, followed by a whole bunch of options, most of which you probably don't care about. Um, if you actually want to know what all of those options do, you can scroll down here to the description. It'll kind of give you an overview of what's going on. After the description, we should start to see a list of the various options. Yep. So we'll get down here. It'll tell you all the options we can use it with. It'll go into way more detail than you probably need to know. Uh, it's handy to get good at scanning these. At the bottom, there's almost always an examples section. This is arguably the most useful because if you don't want to read about the command, but you just want to see some examples, scroll down to there and you'll see it's basically always man followed by the name of the command you want to learn about. So that first example is learning about the ls command. We'll go over it briefly. And then there's some other examples for other more advanced things that the man command can do. When you're done reading the man page, you will probably want to exit and go back to the terminal. You do that by hitting the Q key for quit. It's one of those things you just kind of have to know. Although, because we were on the man page, you probably could have read about it. Uh, hitting the Q key will take you right back to your terminal. You can run it again, you can exit again, so on and so forth. Questions on the man command? This should be your first stop when you want to figure out how a command does, uh, what a command does. I mean, you can Google it as well, but a, all the man pages are online, so if you actually Google man followed by something in Google, you'll get the man page via Google as well. Uh, but this really is the documentation for everything you could ever want to know in Linux. It also provides a lot of programming documentation. You can, there, it's, it's not ubiquitous, but there's a lot of programming topics you can type in, and it'll give you like an entire page with example code and how to use it. It's really, really useful in a whole number of ways. So I would encourage you to use the man command often. Also, word of warning, if you go to an online forum or you go to ask a TA who might be less patient than I am what some basic command does and it's clear that you haven't even read the first line of the manual page, you might get flamed. Um, so read the man page as your first stop and then if you still don't understand, go ask questions or at least if you can't get the basic gist. It's kind of that if you're too lazy to read the man page, no one's going to want to help you uh, kind of world that you're going to have to deal with. Questions on the VM pages?